Listen up, literally. Something our kids use every day could be posing a long-term threat to their hearing. Lauren Zakalik has something all parents should hear. Headphones have become a constant in our kids' lives. The pandemic and virtual learning has made them even more so. The problem, says Lisa Vaughn, is that our homes and lives are noisy and our kids keep hiking up the volume to compensate. That's what we worry about. We worry about these kids turning things up to the maximum amount of volume because of all the other things in the household. Vaughn, who's been recently quoted in the New York Times and Parents Magazine, is the audiology program manager for Cook Children's in Fort Worth. And she says the damage is already clear. Generally, the warning sign is tinnitus or ringing in your ears. And we have had a mad influx this year of kids with tinnitus. Before it gets worse, she has some tips for parents. The first, keep home noise at a minimum so your kids don't have to use headphones in the first place. You can not do dishes, not do laundry, not vacuum your floors, like save those things for the evenings. If your kids can't avoid other noisy situations, Vaughn says they should use protection, earplugs, go a long way. Also invest in listening devices that are safer for your kids' ears. They have volume limiting headphones for children that you can purchase and have honest conversations with them about their hearing and how it can't be replaced. There's not a magic surgery. There's not a magic pill. It's when it's gone, it's gone. For more tips, head to WFA.com.